tell you yes 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 ladies and gentlemen welcome 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 to another beautiful night and welcome to another another beautiful show i'm yours truly lincoln the legend and um today i have a very special special guest uh with me today uh for those of you that just tuned in and please 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 i urge you to please um share the video uh, go ahead and share the video because you know when you see talent you have to actually recognize talent and uh, today we are recognizing talent uh, I've been following this person for a long time from the beginning from the Genesis when she first started um, when she first started doing her her song her very first music video uh, up to up to now 
Uh, so it's on the right. I know it's been a while, and I, I, you know some people are wondering why you didn't invite her to your show. Uh, you know, ever since why now? Uh, because you know sometimes you observe, you see talent, and then you wait to see that talent nourish. And then when you, when you finally get to the point where you say yes, you know this person is doing something that a lot of people are not doing right now, then you recognize them. Not that she wasn't doing something a long time ago, but you know, this, I, I believe that this is the time that you know we give the lady her flowers. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me welcome you to the lady, the one and only Miss Monet. Miss Monet, welcome to the show. How are you today? Thank you. I'm doing great, Lincoln. I am very excited to be here today. And we, we're very excited to have you as well. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come on, man. I know it's been a long time. Uh, you've been putting in a lot of good work, and your style is a little different. We respect that. So thank you so much for accepting the offer to come on my show today. Well, thank you. My pleasure. All right, and everybody watching you, I urge you to please, please uh, share the video. I was actually sharing, but uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys now uh, just to continue sharing. Please tell your friends to tell their friends uh, to come and uh, show the young lady some love. So, Miss Monet, uh, quickly, man, um, let your audience, let your fans know who exactly is Miss Monet and how did you get started uh, singing? Well, um, I started thinking, you know, since I know myself, that's what I got to say about that. Um, I know I went from being, you know, in the kids' choir in Sunday school class, you know, age six, seven, and then I went to the junior choir, then I went to our adult choir, then I was in a band, and then I started doing my own recording. Mm. So that's how it all got started. Okay. Uh, but when 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 was it that you decided, you know what, I think I'm going to go, you know, international with this. I'm going to take this to the next level. Because, you know, some people sing and, like you said, they will do a little thing in the choir. And then, they'll, you know, eventually they will forget about that. They will still be doing it, but they will not want to take it seriously. So at what point did you decide, say, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to really really consider this and try to take it seriously um it was 2012 when i did zomu zomu was my very first music and i got i got to have it when i did zomu it just like went like that i never didn't expect it to go like that but by the grace of god zomu kick off and it was it was great i i really enjoy you know traveling and doing the Zumu at the time, I, I didn't understand music much, you know, the whole business I spent and all the other stuff, but I was just enjoying it at the time, but it was 2012. Okay, so wait, let me get this, because you know, the first time I actually, <laughs> the first time I actually saw your music video, it wasn't Zumu, it was, it was actually Parking Station, I heard that song, that song was so popular, everybody was singing it. And I said, who, what kind of song called Parking Station? Everybody's singing. And then I went on YouTube and I watched the video. I actually, to tell you the truth, I, the song was, is, is a catch, it was catchy, but I, I really wasn't feeling it. You know, I really, I, I like your part in it. You know, and yeah, uh, like I, I said, I, Shadow, Shadow is my boy, but that particular song, I don't think he did the song justice. You know, I, Shadow, I said it. And I was like, man, what kind, what kind of song called Parking Station? I'm parking you, parking. Don't park in my station. That's the first um, music video I saw of you. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I I, re I did remember you um, telling me that when I when I come up with another song, I should let you know you was gonna promote it. I was like, huh? Why did he say that? I think he hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know, he. But you know, at that time, I already they know you like that. But I I took it. You know, I as uh, constructive criticism. You know, uh -huh. criticism so I accepted it I was like actually the song I we did parking station because I wanted to do something outside my 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 norm at the time 
I wanted to do the whole Afro part. You know, I was still trying to find me. Mm -hmm. so I was still trying different things, you know. But Zomu was my first music. I didn't do the video because I wanted the video to be original. Mm. So um, at the time, um, trying to find who would do it, where to do it, for it to look original was, you know, a problem. So um, when Shadow came around, we did parking station, you know, try it out. People, they like it, you know. Some people like it, some people hate it. Mm -hmm. I, that's the kind of fear I get with packing station. So yeah, but so Zomu was actually done um, two years before packing station, but that was the the video that I had a chance to do. That's why it became my first video. All right. Well, for those of you that haven't seen packing station, uh, let me play it. This is uh, Miss Monet. This was actually her first video that she put out. So let me let me play it real quick. Uh, I didn't like the, I didn't like the video. I, I'm gonna be straightforward, you know. And yeah, I remember you reached out to me. I said, if you come up with another song, uh, yes. <laughs> you know, hit me up because I wasn't really feeling this. I uh, was like, oh, damn, my word. <laughs> but it was for the good. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it was all love. But let me let me play this uh, real quick for our listeners to to hear it and to understand. Uh, so, like you said, some people love it. Like in Minnesota, it was all over. Uh, even in uh, other places, people were playing it. I personally, I didn't, I wasn't really feeling it, but it still was a catch. So let me play this for you guys, so you guys can uh, have an understanding of where uh, Miss Monet came from. You know, up to where she is right now, how her star have transformed to something that I think she have basically formed something special. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But let me play uh, Parking Station first. Miss Monet, just mute your sound on your end while I play this music. Stay tuned. All right, okay. You think they place at your parking station, eh? Hmm. Miss Monet. Charmaine, baby. <laughs> the girl on fire, you feel me? Shadow is the shadow. Ship so hot. That's my 
African swagger, making the goddess spend in their mind. Wango, let me see you wango. Eh. That's it. Everybody wango. give you guys a little gist a little taste of uh, Miss Monet very first video you can tell that you know you can tell it was your first video and I'm not I'm not this is all good this is all love you you already know why I already tell you I wasn't feeling this video although it's catchy you know that that other part I was coming with with, with Shadow Man that's the part I really didn't like got Shadow Man went and anyways I play that just to show people how far Miss Monet have come. Miss Monet's style has totally transformed. It has changed. You know, Miss Monet have decided to embrace a culture which you don't. I mean, yes, people doing it, but not the way she is doing it. Uh, and one of the songs that she told me about that she really, really like is also where she she embraced her culture and she said. A lot of people, and I bet you most of the older folks too, uh, love love your music. So basically, you're capturing the older folks, and you're also in capturing the younger folks. So you know that's marketing for you. You can go to older people wedding, you play the song, they'll, they'll dance, they'll lap, you know, and yes. then at the same time, younger folks can groove and grab to it, right? Yes. You see? Yeah. It, 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 I know. I know a little bit about some of the But anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just um, tuning in, let me welcome you to the show, I Rap LIB. I Rap LIB is a show uh, dedicated to putting the spotlight on Liberian entertainers and Liberian entertainment. And today we have in our midst, Miss Monet, uh, one of the hottest uh, Liberian female artists right now. Uh, if you guys think, um, you know, you don't agree with me, you will hear some of her work. You're going to watch some of her music video. And we have one new song that we're going to be playing uh, sometime in, in, within this interview. That's the main purpose to basically reveal, premiere her newest music. But we can't get there unless we find out some of the work that she's been doing. Uh, so, Miss Monet, tell us a little bit more about why you decided to start sinking in, 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 you know, the way you do right now. Um. <clears throat> Like we're gonna uh, Omar, we're gonna Omar talk to you. Or uh, did you decide on your on your own? No, you know, to be to be honest with you, right? Um, growing up, I always enjoy, you know, when we went to the village for a vacation. I I love that kind of stuff. I love how we used to go in the moonlight and play, you know. And although you know, we'll leave the city, go visit my grandparents. Well, I'll always go outside to play in the moonlight, and I make sure I learn all the songs. I, I thought that was, like, it's so peaceful to me. It's so, it make me feel really good, you know. So um, when I would walk around in the house clean and cook growing up, you know, I would sing those songs. And my my dad, he, he would admire them. And I just, I just found myself, you know, as I grew older and started doing music, I just saw myself singing um, traditional music. Even in the church, I would sing the traditional music, like Maron Cassette, I love her music, you know, those girl songs, I was singing and stuff like that. So it's something that, like, I just ready for myself doing. It's not like somebody talked to me. It's just something I really enjoy and admire when other people do it also. 
Okay, and and we we are enjoying it and we are admiring it. For those of you that are just coming in, uh, and if you don't know what we're talking about, I ask you to please uh, be mindful of your messages. If you don't know who the artist is, you can watch and find out about her. Uh, but don't jump into conclusion and start making assumption that you know absolutely nothing about. All right. So I'm not gonna say this one more time, man. Uh, I'm not even gonna call your name or acknowledge it anymore. Uh, whoever acting the fool, uh, just behave yourself on my show, please. All right. So uh, this this video, Zumo, right? Uh, the one that a lot of people came to embrace and love, which I believe was was your very first song, right? But it didn't come out till later on. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. What exactly is Zumo? Uh, what what everybody do to Zumo? You know, what exactly is, is the Zumo? And what's the concept behind that music video? You know, Zumo, it is a old Moonlight song that um, they play in Nima. So, you know, um, they were... Like in in the evening time, the boys will go in the middle of the the village and they will, they will beat the drum and all the girls will come out and they will sing that song, you know. So I I I like the messages in the song. It's kind of like sarcasm, but it's really fun. It's like just throwing talks at, at people and you know things like that so young girls will sing and talk, talk at each other like maybe you're following my boyfriend i don't like it or something like that so um i took the song you know i revived it and just made it my own and and that's all it is it just i'm just talking a whole lot of you know stuff in that song that that make if you understand the 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 dialect you will actually fall in love with the song and that's what happened and up to now the Nibalian Zoom is like a national anthem for them. Mm. If you go to uh, any Nibalian, you go to their event, whether it's here, even back home, it's Zoom, and they don't know who the artist is. They don't know me. Like, they could be, sometimes I go somewhere and they're playing this song, and people are like pushing chairs and just really dancing to it and they don't even acknowledge me i'm like all right that's good <laughs> you know but yeah so some way just a fun song you know it's a play song i'm just saying a whole lot of foolishness all right it's well let's play zumo uh so this was actually your first song but you didn't put it up there later on so let's play zumo real quick and we'll be right back we got we got you, you got a lot of work man unfortunately we can't play all of it but ladies and gentlemen, uh, this one uh, is called Zumo uh, by the lady Miss Monet. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Baby, tell ya, blah, 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 bl
Everybody, I can understand why that song is a hit, man. Y'all see, y'all understand what I mean when I said the girl have found, you know, something that not a lot of people are doing. She actually embracing her culture, you know, uh, making older folks wanting to enjoy. Like she said, she go, she play the song at the wedding. She be sitting there, and people don't even know she the one sing it. You know, so Miss Monet, shout out to you once more, uh, once again. Hats off to you, should I say? Uh, that's a lovely traditional uh, song. Big up to you, and I can understand why a lot of people love it, especially people from uh, the Nima County, because it seems like they can relate uh, to what you're saying. I don't understand a word in that song, but I still love it. You know, I love the fact that you embracing your culture you know you 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 singing and you know the other song you came up with was something about lapa your way a lapa you know all those all those things i i just love it and that's why you're sitting on my show tonight man so big up to you and uh continue the wonderful work 
Thank you. Thank you. And we we got we we let me see we got is nine thirty one. Let me just read some of the comments real quick because I want to play more uh more um music videos just for people to have an understanding of what I'm talking about. Uh anyway, a lot of people giving positive feedback. Uh <laughs> someone said the beginning and dance. Uh uh NASA say I love this song. Uh Charles uh I know that last name said uh, she is a true star uh from Nima County. I think it's Char Winkwa. Winkwa don't mean pronounce I, mean, I won't spoil your name, brother, sorry. Uh Nima all the way. Uh a lot a lot of positive comments. Um uh, Someone saying, "Good job! You're doing a wonderful job representing your your county." Uh, a lot of a lot of positive a lot of positive comments. If you're just tuning in, this is the IRFLIB show, a show dedicated to putting the spotlight on Liberian entertainers and Liberian entertainment. And we are talking to Miss Monet. Uh, later on, we have a a video to premiere. Uh, you know that uh, I mean, not a video, but a song. You haven't you haven't heard this song yet? Uh, it's fresh. You're gonna hear it tonight. We're gonna be playing it uh, later on. But we just wanted to, you know, go back to the nitty gritty and just to find out how Miss Monet gets got started, you know, from her, from the beginning, you know, up to where she is uh, right now. Uh, so Miss Monet, recently, not too long ago, you had the chance to go back uh, to Liberia. I mean, do you go often, or was it a, a have you was it been a was it a long time before you went back yes um i went 2011 so oh okay yes so um this was like my second time going back since i came okay yes and you you did a you did you did a couple of uh music videos back home one i believe i don't know if it was in nima where it was where they had the, the, the country devil and all that stuff yeah. was yes, that in that was in nima that was in Ganta. Okay, so tell us about the experience. I mean, how were you embraced? I mean, you went to do a music video. Did people welcome you back? Were you well accepted? Yes. Um. One thing I I know about the Nibalians, though, you know, we support each other, especially if you're doing something positive. Mm -hmm. And they um, they call me their queen, and they really show that love to me. They treated me like a queen. You know, they um, welcomed me as their queen in Nima when I went there. It was, the experience was amazing. It, it, it was crazy, actually. And um, I really, really, really appreciate my people, you know, for all the love and everything. Uh, it was it was a very fun experience working with my people, you know. Um, I could relate, they could relate to me, you know. I never went there and did this that's not me at all you know so it was fun we we um some of the if you watch the video you will see me you know dancing with my daffy although <laughs> I, I, i'm not a great dancer <laughs> but i try um yeah we we already have fun with the with the guild that you know i last time i remember guild that i was running away from it <laughs> and this time around it was actually coming to me and you know uh needing down to me you know respecting me as a queen that 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 was very huge it was all right and the and the song is called uh best from Nima. yes okay we we're going to play it next uh you have you have right now currently you have like i believe six uh music videos that you have done uh one video that didn't make made a lot of noise i i personally i love it uh but it didn't I didn't really see it being promoted a lot was uh the beat. You know, I kinda uh yeah. I ran across that video and I'm, you know, I watched it and I'm like, but I don't understand why this is not uh making hairways. Uh why wasn't that making uh hairways? Didn't you did you not promote it well? I mean what was up with that? Um, I think I had, I just had a handful at a time. Mm -hmm. When I did the beat recording that song I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole um feel of the song, you know. But then when I did a video I just kinda lay back with it. I never really promoted it. and and that's just what happened. Do you know I even forgot that I have that video? Really? 
<laughs> you know, hopefully, if you have time, uh, if time permits me, I will. I will play it. But let me let me play this uh, video that you did back home, uh, uh, Miss Mene Betts from Nima, just to show how well received she was, and you know, people basically you can tell people are happy. Uh, you know, you were dancing, like you say, bare feet, and you know, the people were there in the in the lapa and just yes. dancing the, along with you. So let's play this. Uh, this one is called "Best from Nima" uh, by the lady Miss Monet, and we will be right back. Stay tuned, folks. Not a wonderful hit right there. You know, all 
all the songs I've played so far is a hit. Even the la even the first one I didn't like, it still was a hit. You know, so we 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 three for three right now. You know, if I have time, I bet you if I play all all the video, it will be six for six. Uh, that's how good uh, the lady is, man. And we need to give her her flowers. Uh, now, Miss Benet, uh, let me let me ask you this. And you know, this is something I've been I noticed. I don't know why I noticed at a, at a, at a you know, recently. I mean, I, I knew about it, but it just I actually took the time to do my research, and I realized that there's not a lot of females in this in this Liberian music industry. I can basically count you guys, you know, that actually doing that people know. I can count you on my hand, on my on my fingers, on my ten fingers. Uh, why is it that you know? Females, women not really Liberian women not, that can sing because you know there's a lot of Liberian women that can sing, but they're not really involved, or, you know, in the in the Liberian music industry. What do you think the problem is? Um, I think I don't know, but because for me, huh, how can I put it? Whether or not music was gonna support me, I was still gonna do music because music chose me. So maybe it's not their calling. I don't know. For me, I can't, since I was a little girl, I can't, if you ask my parents, they will tell you. I can't go without singing. Like, I have to be doing some sort of singing. So um, the few that are doing music, I wanna believe that's probably how they feel. And then we have some people that have beautiful voices like other females that can really sing but it's not their calling maybe who knows or maybe they don't have the support or the you know somebody to encourage them i don't know i i really wouldn't know well we we are we are looking up to you guys to to you know pave the way uh so that uh more females can actually take the initiative and get serious uh, with this, because we need we need females in the industry, not just not just you know. Right now, it's a male dominant world. Uh, yes. You know, a lot of a lot of male doing this, but we need we also need our females to take the initiative uh, and get involved. And, and here's another thing, though. I I almost feel like if you are not strong as a female in our Liberian entertainment industry, they suppress you. Like I, I'm I'm serious. It's it's just like for me, I've been just trying and trying because of the passion I have for the music. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they, they ready for straight you or you want to even quit and stuff like that. Um, I think it's just that whole, whole mindset that African have about women or something. I don't know what is it in our industry. They, they try to suppress you as a female artist. They, they really try harder. Mm -hmm. And you just got to be stronger. And, you know, if you know what music means to you, then you keep pushing. And that's why they carry me, you know. Absolutely. Excuse me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Miss Monet. This is the show I rep at IB, a show dedicated to putting a spotlight on Liberian entertainers and entertainment. We are on weekends uh, at, on Saturday on Radio LIB. And in Liberia, we are live on uh, Hot FM. Uh, one of those, uh, six point nine point seven, uh, every Saturday from two to three and from six to seven, uh, Liberian time and weekdays. Occasionally, if we you know have the time, we try to also extend, uh, and put a spotlight on outstanding uh, artists. We are talking to Miss Monet one, once again, and uh, let me see if I can uh, play another video. Uh, but you know earlier, uh, you know few years ago you you started working you you did a collaboration with the man uh to see uh what was that experience like oh it was it was awesome i love working with to see he um he is such an inspiration to me like when i'm in the studio with to see actually to see recorded two more for me mm. he did best for nima he um he did even the beat so he been recording all the songs and working with him it just 
a great feeling. Like he pushed me. Um, so I like working with him. And when I when I got that big crane pressure and I I said Facebook, he was like, oh, I need to get on this one. You know, that's how he got he got on his song, and it it was great. You know. Uh, speaking of Facebook, y'all y'all really hit uh, the nail on the head with that song because basically y'all are speaking about the everyday activity uh, mm -hmm. on Facebook, how people react or how people act on Facebook. I actually love that song. It's a it had it have should I say a catchy uh, uh, you know tone to it. And let me let me play this real quick. Uh, this one was Miss Monet featuring the man. Two uh, C, Two C is also a legend in the game, and he's been doing this for a long time. And yes. I was glad that he embraced Miss Monet and basically, you know, the collaboration with her. And like she said, you know, help her. I'm pretty sure he gave uh, some advices. Uh, uh, advice, you I say, advices. Uh, excuse me for my, you know, self-made language I'm doing over here right now. But she, he gave some advice to her as well. Uh, and this one is called Facebook. Uh, Miss Monet featuring 2C. We'll be right back. I need to drink some water because I'm chopping at Chris right now. <laughs>
Yeah, man, we had to switch it up a little bit, you know, just to show you that, you know, the lady uh, doesn't want to do the traditional pump, but she can switch it up if need be. Uh, you heard her while well, featuring the man 2C. Grandma on Facebook posting emoji. Grandpa too. On Everybody on Facebook. That's the reality right there, man. That's the lady. Uh, yeah. Miss Monet <laughs> on Facebook. That's a hit song, man. I don't care what anybody say. I love that song. That was one of the songs you listen to. You're like, mm hmm. Everybody on Facebook, though. But in, anyways. Uh, I let's know <laughs> you know, I, I, I had to uh, block my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you block your mom on Facebook? And then she would call me and be like, I'm trying to send you a message. It's not going through. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this. <laughs> but yeah, you know, everybody on Facebook. That's what's up. That's a reality uh, summer right there, man. At least yeah. if you just took, and everybody's sending me a message and telling me how they can get on my, y'all please, y'all please message me after the show, guys. I can't, I can't respond if I'm interviewing, um. The young lady. If you just tune in, my apology, guys. Um, usually it will be around this time where I will open up the phone lines, but my other computer froze, and uh, unfortunately I won't be taking the call. But I'm pretty sure Miss Monet will go back and read all these nice uh, comments and respond to some yeah. uh, after the yeah. show. So uh, there's a lot of positive comments, man. And unfortunately, I I, I don't want to read all because of time. Uh, but I'm going to go straight because we got to play this. Uh, this we got to premiere this song. But I, I really got to play this last video. You already know this. This is this is D. Or this, I mean, said this is my favorite song. You know, ever since this song came out, before the video even came out, I love it. I, I will be at work. And I'm not kidding you guys. I will be at work and I will put this song on replay. I will, you know, on Wologi. The good thing if you have the Wologi mobile app, you can just, if you're playing a song, you can just hit uh, repeat. They will play over and over and over. That how, you know, I that, that how it used to be. I just put it on repeat, and the song will play over and over and over and over and over. I will hear it back to back to back. I love it. And I don't even know what the guest saying in the song. I just love, the, you know, when you hear certain kind of music. That was say music is a universal language. Because when you hear it, you don't have to, even have to understand what the person is saying. Yeah, you know, you exactly. can still groove to it, you know, so let me let me show you guys uh, What I mean when I say music is a universal language you guys not gonna understand unless you can speak Gil You're not gonna understand what Miss Monet is saying that's, that's better. Oh, that better. But when I miss Monet, you better you Gil I'm half and half. Mano and pere. Oh, you, you know, mano and pere. Yeah, I make use of it. And, and you I'm can speak me. And you can speak both of it. Yes, very well. And she on me <laughs> I guess we know. What are you? What are you? My, my, me? A basso? My mom, basso? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't know how to speak it. You know, uh, I want to I know the basic, you know, the you know the, the one that everybody know, that they want to know. Okay. You know, but this song is called Tumo, right? Tumo? Yes. And this song is also done uh, in, in Liberia. Uh, tell us a little bit about it before I play the video. Well, um, you know, I was in Atlanta with Tusi doing um, Best from Nima and some other song. And Kwesi um, <clears throat> B, man, so rest in peace. Um, I call Lorenzo. I'm like, look here, man, I need, I need a new beat. I need something I can feel because I don't write my songs. When I hear the beat, I feel it. I sing to it, you know. So he was like, hold on, let me call Quincy B. You know, he called Quincy, he came over, we talked, and he did a beat. He sent me the beat. I was doing best for him by the time. I told Tusi, look, when I heard the beat, I told Tusi, I said, let's pause best for him. I got to do this song right now. Like, it's playing in my head. So we went right on it, and I did some more. When I sent it by Quincy, was like, wow, I like what you did with the beat, and... Everybody that it was sent to, they love it, and up to this time. Then the video, Loveland Production, was just like, wow. It just completed all. all right. So that's how, you know, it was done. All right. Uh, man, his soul rests in peace, man. Another talent brother that uh, went a year too soon. Uh, he, he did this beat. 
he did a beat of this song uh and i love i love this song i love the beat i love everything about it and let me share with you guys so you can give Monet, uh, miss Monet uh her feedback uh some feedback on this this one is called tomo uh stay tuned keep it locked this is our rebel video Give me a second, let me play this. Sorry guys. Alright, here we go. It's going to be on the Yeah, man. 
Yo, man, that's one of my favorite songs. This is one of my favorite songs. And uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all this song you can find uh, on our RFLIB website. It's on YouTube also, but if you're trying to find all Miss Monet work, uh, one way to do it is just go on RFLIB and just type in her name and all her songs are going to pop up. And you can also find it on the mobile app, some of the audio and uh, the video that we we had access to is on the mobile app as well. Uh, Miss Monet, before you before you come on, uh, before I actually introduce uh, the premiere song, let me just address something real quick. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to just address things when someone posts. So uh, Provar Pro is saying, I'm watching from UK, and I think Liberian bloggers uh, they all favor certain people. I'm a Liberian artist holding it down in UK, yeah, but I never get any support from uh, people, DJs, or bloggers. Wow. So let me let me just say this real quick, and uh, and that had nothing to do with you, uh, Miss Man. I just want to address something real quick. I usually don't say much when it comes to this, and I usually don't believe in favoritism, but I also believe in promoting Liberian music. I also believe in promoting Liberian artists, but to tell you the truth. You know, I have seen a lot of Liberians, and nothing wrong with that. I, I'm one of those people that always say Liberians should not be put in a box, right? But let me just address this real quick. Uh, Liberians should not be put in a box. But at the same time, you have to embrace your own culture. You have to embrace something that Liberians will be proud of. Prova, I have seen your work. No disrespect to you, brother. Your quality of work is, is very unique. It's good. Your video is up to, up to par. I've seen it. You know, you sent me some, I didn't respond, but let me tell you why. You sing in Jamaican style. Absolutely nothing wrong with that, right? But a lot of Liberians would not embrace that, brother. They were, they were not. Not that it's wrong, but it, they'll feel like you're not sing, you're not, you're really not embracing your culture. You, if you're singing completely as a Jamaican, and then you say, oh, I'm a Liberian, this, like, and then you put Liberian music uh, to it, that's not like, that's really, it's a Jamaican music. You are regular artist, yeah, but I mean, once in a while, bring it back home a little bit. Uh, you did one where you brought back home, and I wasn't really feeling it. All right, so, but bring it back home a little bit and, and try to represent. But if you catering to a certain group of people, and then you want your Liberian people to embrace you, it will be very difficult for them to embrace you. You know, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Maybe that's why. I saw your work, and like I said, sometimes it takes a while for me to actually interview people. Miss Monet been doing her thing for a long time, way longer than you came in the picture. You messaged me, I saw it, but I have to see more of your work. I can't just, you can't just do a few videos and say, oh, I'm an artist, come on, uh, interview me. Or when you, no, I don't, I don't work that way. If that was the case, then everybody I would be bringing on. You know, I have some people, Black Diamond, for example, it took a long time before I even brought Black Diamond on, you know, because everybody in line. And everybody, you know, people just got to wait their turn. You know, no disrespect, brother. But just get it right. We don't. I don't believe in favoritism. It might take a while before you know I bring you on my show or whatever. But it doesn't mean that I'm putting somebody else first. That was the case. Miss Monet would be one of the first in line because her work speaks for herself, uh, for itself. Uh, so I hope that I hope I address that. But anyway, if you just tune in, ladies and gentlemen, this is the show I rap I like be a show dedicated upon the spotlight on entertainers and entertainment, Liberian entertainers and Liberian entertainment. We are talking to Miss Monet. Uh, unfortunately, because of time, we're not going to play any more videos. Uh, like I said, we have she had more videos that you can uh, check up on iRapLIB on YouTube or on the mobile app uh, Woology. Uh, what I want to actually let Miss Monet talk about is her newest song. But before she even talk about the new song, Miss Monet, I forgot to ask you, uh, where was that video done? Uh, I know it was done in Liberia, but which part of Liberia? Oh, that was in uh, Bone County, um, Quatawi. The oh. beauty of Bone County. Quatawi. You know, yeah, Quatawi Waterfall. I don't know if you know about it. But it's a beautiful place, you know. We were on our way to Quatawi, and we stopped in the village. And, you know, and the village people were already excited. They danced to the song and stuff like that. And we made our way to the, By the time we got to the waterfall, I was, like, passing out. It was so hot. <laughs> But it was fun, you know. <laughs> it was fun, and we did it. And thank God, it came out good. 
It's a good mm-hmm. song. The music Shout is Shout out to Loveland Production. <laughs> yeah, Loveland Loveland doing his uh the thing, man. Love so Loveland is a is a video production group. Is it owned by Lorenzo, I believe? Yes, he's the owner. Shout out to the brother Lorenzo, man. Lorenzo one of those that always uh send me music. You know, um you know, he and I got a thing going where if a new song come up, the brother just passes it towards me, you know. So shout out to you, brother. Keep up the good work. Uh, he does uh, pictures and video. So big yeah. up to big up to Lorenzo. Uh, I got to get you on my show one of these days as well, bro. Uh, so keep up the good work, man. You keep on making things happen for Liberia on that end. You know, keep on holding it down. All right. All right, let me... Let me uh, Let's talk about this. You know, the reason why you're here today is to premiere this, your, one of your newest songs. You know, I have prolonged a long time. So let's let's talk a little bit uh, about this song. Tell us a little bit about this song, the name of the song, and all that stuff. We'll go to it. Um, the song is called Sweet More Sweet Talk. You know, um, it's a beautiful song. I, I like it. You, you know, my, my star is kind of different and that's how I feel music and that's how I sing it so it's, it's gonna be it's, it's different as usual and I I like it you know my um my team like it in fact they love it so I'll wait to see how you guys respond to it I'm hoping that you guys love it um <laughs> I are I'm you never I'm well, I'm excited about the song. That's the thing. Like, I'm really excited about this song. I don't know why. I I like it. So it's, it's called different. it's called Sweet Muff, Sweet Talk. Sweet Talk. Yes. Oh, so ex- explain. Ex- what's Sweet Muff, Sweet Talk? When we play the song, you will hear it's you know they coming again, where they are sweet, sweet talk, sweet muff. Um, oh, so guys, see? guys trying to okay. So let me see if I get this right. Guys trying to <laughs> talk to a female and they give me all the sweet talk. Yes, all the oh. sweet talk. Oh, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. But because it's political season, uh huh. People who are listening to it, they think I was singing politics, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, my idea behind the song wasn't politics, mm-hmm. but if they want to, you know. Take it that way. I'm also fine with it. Speaking of politics, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, since we're on that, since we're on that topic, uh, I mean, I seen a lot of, uh, especially in Liberia, uh, a lot of the artists now are getting involved in politics. The politicians are reaching out to them, and you know, some artists uh, supporting saying Kennedy, and why are the others? Supporting other. I mean, are you are you involved? Did any of the politicians uh, reach out to you? To be honest with you, I have a lot of them reach out to me. Even when I was in Liberia, um, I would have been in Liberia right now if I was going to accept the offers. But um, I don't understand politics. Mm-hmm. I don't like politics. I know my aunt always tell me our entire existence is kind of like politics. Mm. So I try to stay away from politics. I'm just a very peaceful person. So anything that I'm gonna that I'm gonna struggle with, I don't like to be involved. <laughs> so I run away from politics. That's mm. the problem. So I haven't really, you know, um, been involved with anything like that. I hear you. I hear you. Well, don't don't get into something where you're gonna be uncomfortable with. Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said. Um, this one is Miss Monet's newest song. It's called Sweet Muff, Sweet Talk. You heard this first on radio. I like uh, I rap L I B. Uh, you know, a platform dedicated to librarian entertainers and librarian entertainment, man. And uh, shout out to all the artists that are doing the thing. You know, just be patient. Uh, it's just a matter of time, man. We can't, we can't have everybody on the show, uh, but you know, just a matter of time, and uh, hopefully we'll have you here. All right, Sweet Muff. Sweet Talk, world premiere. You heard this first on iRebelIBL. Stay tuned. Yeah. 
Talking this and talking that, passing, they give me eyes. Gonna fool away, gonna work and deal. He got a big, he got now, he got easy. He, 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 We're gonna play this one more time before we leave, but I want to get your reaction uh, to this one again. Miss Monet have done it again. You know, I actually when I listened to the song Fred because I was getting ready, I'm like, oh, I'm not ready, but I listen to it again. You know, this is one of this song. I, I just I just know that as you listen to it, it will grow on you because I was really feeling it the second time. I'm telling you. I was really, really feeling it the second time. Now, Miss Monet, someone is asking uh, how they can get the CD. I don't think this is on CD. Uh, but how, if they wanted the song, I don't know, are you are you going to make this available? I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be on Roji. Uh, you know, yeah. that one I mean, <laughs> that, that one I mean, a question. But yeah. are, are you going to make it available for download for people that, that want it, or how are you going to go about doing this? Um, yeah, it's gonna be on on iTunes, Amazon, and all the other sites. Okay. And also, it's on YouTube right now. Okay. Um, I think we already got it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And you know, for people that are asking for a CD, just hold your heart. I got an album coming up next year <laughs> in May by the grace of God. So yeah, you'll have. Your CD. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Uh, I, I think one person y'all need, need to do something on like collaboration is the man Tower the Great, uh, Judgy B. Judgy B, you better, uh, you, you in here right now, you better reach out to old girl, man. I think a collaboration will be outstanding. You know, yeah. Judgy B does his uh, new age grandma. You know, y'all y'all do your thing what y'all do. <laughs> you know, y'all do your thing y'all do. And, you know, y'all, y'all come up with something good. Y'all, y'all embrace the culture. You know, yeah, I, I, I think I think it's a great idea. Uh, I, I, I'm all over it. Y'all, y'all, y'all do your talking. Y'all, y'all handle it in the back end. I just want to see something, something <laughs> great because I know I believe in Georgie B. Uh, Georgie yeah. B is one of those that been doing his thing way back to the brother go way back. He know how far we have come. Oh, let me yeah. put, let me put us all back on. He know how far we have come. Uh, you know, he one of those that started from the nitty gritty, and now he he's basically. Branding, he has branded himself. Let me put it that way. So I think a collaboration will be awesome. Uh, one thing uh, Miss Muniz said for those of you that's asking how you can get the song, you know, and it's gonna be available places that you can listen to for free. But I also think you know y'all y'all heard and y'all watched some of the nice work 
that Miss Mooney have done. I just played the music videos. You heard the audio to the song. It's new. It's brand new. Uh, Georgie B is no audio. It's no video. It's just the audio. But I think y'all need to support the artist also. She just said it's going to be on, on iTunes. It's going to be available on iTunes, CD Baby, uh, Google Play Store, all these places. And it's not a dollar, 99, two dollars, whatever uh, it is. Let's support the artist. 99 cents. Look at that. 99 cents. You know, y'all be going to LEA. And, and let me leave that one. Uh, politics. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no disrespect to LEA. I'm just saying people spend a lot of money buying clothes and stuff. You know, you can't afford 99 cents. You be going to parties, events, and stuff, uh, yeah. buying beer, buying bottles, and all that stuff. Listening to the artist's music at the events, and the artist not getting paid for it. You know, so if the artist have the music, if you love it, if it's available for sale, please show support by getting it. Don't just say, "Oh, how can I download it?" And you go and download it, or you listen to YouTube, and some of y'all actually now you can go and download the YouTube, the MP, the MP3 yeah. version of YouTube. That and it sound right when you do that. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the time it would take for you to do that, you can just go and purchase uh, the music. I am going to play the song again. Uh, definitely, some people feel in the song they want to hear the song one more time. So let me let me shut up because sometimes I get ex- before you play. I just want to say, you know, that song was recorded. By big time, big time. Uh, yes. Yeah, so just wanted shout out to you, big time. You know, uh, we we work we working, and that was one of the songs we did. He also did country girl. So yeah. Okay. Shout out to big time all the way in Minnesota doing his thing also. Uh, we we sometimes we observe we see him observe and wait wait. So big time I see you quietly, uh, making yeah. moves. So that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right. So let me. I want to know what you guys think about the song. Uh, people want me to play it one more time. Uh, <laughs> so let me play this song one more time. We got this person keep texting. Can you play this song one more time? Can you play this song one more time? Can you play this song one more time? <laughs> so yes, let me play this song one more time for those of you that miss it or for those of you that love it so much and you want to hear it again. You heard this song first, man, on the show I Rap L.I.B. And nowhere else, the lady Miss Monet is called Sweet Muff. Sweet talk. Stay tuned. It's Mark Music. They come in again, you put the gas in, you put their sweet, sweet more. They come in again, you duck up on fire, you put their sweet, sweet talk. Talking this and talking that, passing, they give me eyes. Gonna fool away, gonna work and deal. He got a big, he got a big, he's 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 a
Yeah, 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 man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This is a hit. You know what? I'm going to listen to this again. I work all day. Just put it on repeat. But I don't know. I still like my Tomo better. But maybe this <laughs> one. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is my second favorite. You know, shout out to you, Miss Monet, man. And, and big up to you for taking the time to come on my platform. And just to uh, tell tell us a little bit about you, how you got started, and where you are right now. And before I turn it over to you, let me just say keep up the good work. Uh, there's a lot in store for you. I already see the route you're going, and a lot of people liking it. Uh, please continue on this route because we don't have a lot of people doing that. And let me just let me just emphatically say this: I have absolutely no problem with someone trying to be different and trying to sing a different kind of way. But I also love Liberian artists that understand that, you know, music is a vice uh, uh, kind of music, is a huge genre of music. And as Liberian, we, we are a young, when it comes to music, we're still young. You know, we still trying to actually, let me say, find ourselves. We still try, because a lot of people are saying, oh, Liberian people don't have music, what is that? Nothing wrong with Liberian artists exploring and trying to do something different. That's not my point. But as a young industry, you know, uh, it's always good to see people that actually stick into this and trying to make it work. You know, not just go and do something that's already big, that already been done, and everybody knowing about it. Just let, let's help build our own music. And, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, and Prova, let me, Prova, or whatever your name is, let me say this. I'm a strong advocate for Liberian artists. I have nothing against people that, that, will go and, and start doing something different. Absolutely nothing. But I also want my in the, the library industry, the library music to flourish as well. So you, you misunderstood what I was trying to say. Uh but I don't I really I really don't don't you know, it doesn't really move me because I get a lot of criticism at times. But just know that this is something I've been doing a long time and I've seen uh where this is going. I've seen where it came from. And I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of the librarian artists. I'm very proud of all of you that are doing your work to, um, you know, flourish yourself, to better yourself, and to also help strengthen the, the, the librarian uh, entertainment industry, the librarian music industry. So uh, you can think whatever you want to think about me, uh, but I know within myself what I've been doing and what I'm doing, and I'm going to just leave it like that. Uh, Ms. Monet, before I let you say your final word, let me just promote myself quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you all know about Woology. Uh, if you want to support Woology, I got the shirt. You know, Miss Monet already ordered hers. It's in the mail. It's coming. Uh, if you need a shirt, I got the burgundy. Uh, I got the black. It's all here. Just hit me up, and uh, it will talk. It's just twenty dollars. Show support uh, to Woology. Woology is the mobile app. Uh, you know, it's it's very tense as to what all the all the work that goes into it so if you want to support you can you can do so by getting yourself a shirt all right with that being said miss monet i want to say thank you ever so much for taking the time to come on my show uh you're doing a wonderful work just keep up the good work uh and shout out to everybody that you know in volunteering the time or uh, helping with the beat of you know giving you advice and working along with you just to bring out that that potential that is that is that is seen in you. So big up to you once again and congratulations on everything that you're doing. And I like I said man, I see I see something big in your future. Just keep your head steady and just focus on your music. Let me turn it over to you now to give your shout out, your parting statement, everything else you wanna say and so we can get out of out of here. All right. Well um I'm very happy that you um invited me on the show i have fun tonight and i just want to say you're one of those who actually pushed me because when you reject that parking station <laughs> uh usually when people reject me i'm like what am i going to do to work harder to get to their expectation so i just want to say you're one of those that actually pushed me by rejecting my song and <laughs> I appreciate that. And I just want to say a shout out to my fan. They've been there sharing my work. You know, I, I, I really, really appreciate them. I wouldn't be 
on this interview if it wasn't for their support. And I want to say thank you to all my sponsors, all my producers, and all my advisors, you know. And shout out to Lorenzo Loveland. Um, he been doing like all my online work and I, I am very, very grateful to have him in my corner. Um, the video, the everything, it just, I'm, I'm happy to have him in my corner. And I want to say shout out to you, Lincoln. You, um, I know you are one of the oldest in the industry and you already been like putting our music out there and I really, really appreciate you for that. Um, I've been following you for a long time, and I'm glad that today I was able to be on your show. You know, I'm very, very happy. And to all my fans, please, please keep sharing my work. That's all I ask of you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. You know, follow my fan book page. It's called Miss Manet. And keep sharing. Oh. And I would. Happy to be here with you guys tonight. <laughs> all right, all right. And sweet Mom, Sweet Todd, that's the new joint. Share it. DJs, please send me your um, emails and WhatsApp number, and I will send you the song. All right, that's what's up. With that being said, uh, Ms. Monet, thank you once again for taking the time to come on my show and just to tell us a little bit about yourself, where you started from, and where you are right now. And keep up the good work, man. Uh, thank you so much, and have a wonderful night. Thank you. You too. All Bye -bye. right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, man, that was the lady, Miss Monet, <laughs> doing her thing, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much, Miss Monet. Thank you so much. Man, I feel much better. I was under the weather, but <clears throat> uh, after after hearing Miss Monet interviewing her, I'm just happy. And yeah, man, um, thank you ever so much to everybody that uh, took the time to watch this interview. Um, you know, sick and everything, I had to come and talk to her. Uh, but since she's gone now, let me let me continue where I left off, because uh, <laughs> or maybe I should just leave it. Let me let me not. I already said what I had to say on that. Uh, not everybody gonna love you, man. Not everybody gonna appreciate what you do. But at the end of the day, as long as you know those that appreciate what you do surpasses those that done. It's all good. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. And my 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 invitation is still open. I usually uh you know have my show on Saturdays. Uh but sometime, you know, I try to fit other schedules in with people. Sometimes people reach out to me or I reach out to people if I see your work. And if I haven't reached out to you yet, uh be patient. Uh your time will come. There's a lot of other platforms that promote in Liberian entertainment. Shout out to every one of them. We all are doing this. It's a collaborative effort. Like I said, um, yesterday, the lady Rhoda and uh, her partner spoke about unity, uh, spoke about you know sharing each other work. I think we as promoters, we need to do that instead of fighting uh, one another because it's so unnecessary. Uh, to tell you the truth all right guys thank you ever so much man and shout out to you make sure you show support to your boy get a water shirt i have it in black uh maroon green and what have you and i also have it's getting it's coming to get cool now right so i got the i rep lib sweatshirt if you want to support you can get that as well. That's when it's on shop.irablb.com. It's the online shop. All right. Uh, if that's if you guys don't have anything to say, I think uh, we have uh, overspent our time. Shout out to the man, Ms. Zonic. Uh Thank you, brother. Hope all is well. And uh, thanks to everybody, man. Miss Monet came and she did her thing. Hmm. Now that she's gone, she I play that other video. One of my other favorite video. Y'all know what? Y'all go and watch the video on iRepLIB. Uh, the sixth video of Miss Monet. Just go on iRepLIB and play and, and search for Miss Monet. And um, the video going to show up. All right? So let's get out of here with her song. 
you know this song gonna be a hit i just have a feeling sweet muff sweet talk sweet muff sweet talk <laughs> i mean i'm gonna sign a shake uh, then how you watch it if i sign a shake you can't watch it man but if you want me to sign i was i'm celebrating my man you know the miss munir and miss munir sign a shake for you <laughs> uh the order of the website the the um oh let me let me come back here the shirts the what shirts for some reason uh the shop the face i got this on facebook shop but a lot of people telling me that the facebook shop isn't working uh too well so just message me and we can do the whole uh cash app or we can do the paypal but for the sweatshirts if you go to shop s h o p dot let me put it down let me put it in here for you shop dot i rep l i b dot com it's right there i just typed it in there if you just copy that in your browser you will be able to see uh the other the other i rep that i be clothes a clothing shoe i say uh that i have but the wology shirts if you want them I'm wearing one right now. If you want them, just um, send me a message, uh, and then I will just get your address and all that stuff. You do the whole cash app. It's twenty dollars, uh, small money, twenty dollars plus uh, three ninety nine uh, shipping. All right, all right, guys. Uh, thank you ever so much for taking the time to tune in, and uh, stay tuned. Uh, a lot of beautiful, beautiful, wonderful shows uh, coming your way. One love, peace, and enjoy. The rest of your week. Let me play this song one more time for you. Talking this and talking that, passing they give me eyes. Gonna fool away, he gon' work and deal. He got but he got, he got now, he got easy. Uh huh. He 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 Sweet, sweet talk. Dead, dead, quap, I'm a lot more cow.